governors, premiers, assembled world leaders, and invited delegates, good afternoon, and thanks once again for making the time to travel here and to participate in this historic summit. In just a few minutes, you are going to be signing a declaration to establish a lasting partnership among states, provinces, and nations around the world to address the scourge of climate change. In the fight against global warming, much of the world's attention is currently focused on the international dialogue being conducted by the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The success of those negotiations is critical to our shared future. However, it is the activity that's occurring at the sub-national level in our states, provinces, and cities which will set the stage for a successful global agreement. Today, we focus attention on those actions and call upon the world to join with us. Over the course of this conference, we have learned about innovative strategies and policies that will enable us to economically develop and deploy clean, renewable electricity, low-carbon transportation fuels and efficient vehicles, and improve urban design to promote walking, biking, and transit. We've heard about solutions for the efficient production of commodities such as cement and steel and a broad range of policies to support the protection and enhancement of our natural global carbon stocks in trees and soils. <clears throat> and so as we learned yesterday, the President-elect of the United States and representatives from the United Nations are looking to us to inform their efforts. Today, as we confront deep global economic challenges, and our financial leaders discuss stimulus plans, it is more important than ever that we take advantage of the spirit of innovation that we have seen here. Now is the time to invest in policies and strategies that will cut pollution, save money, and create jobs. Policies that will bring forth the solutions that will enable all the citizens of the world to have access to clean, reliable, and affordable energy, and mobility that does not pollute our environment or compromise our common atmosphere. The declaration that you will be signing is meant to accomplish several important goals. It recognizes our mutual responsibility to stabilize atmospheric concentration of greenhouse gases to avoid catastrophic climate change. It identifies those areas that have the most promise for sharing strategies, technologies, and policies to allow us to both mitigate the effects of climate change and adapt to the inevitable changes that are already underway. The agreement establishes a framework for ongoing collaboration so that the states, provinces, and countries represented here today can continue to collectively address the challenge. And it is an affirmation and demonstration to our respective nations' international representatives that a workable, economically viable foundation has been established to achieve a successful post-Kyoto agreement in Copenhagen in 2009. So it is my great pleasure now to ask the world leaders who are here at the table if you could stand for a moment so that we can prepare the documents for you to sign. And while the stage is being reset, I also want to invite the leaders who are sitting in the audience, the representatives of governors and provinces uh, who are with us, uh, who would also like to witness uh, the signing of the event, to join us on the stage as well. I need also to recognize that this doc as you're coming forward, please just come forward to the stage. I want to also acknowledge that the documents that are uh, being signed here today have also been signed by a number of leaders who were not able to be with us in person, but who have asked that their signatures be affixed to the documents. And I'm going to read their names and affiliations as well. We have Governor Ritter of Colorado, Governor Christ of Florida, who was here before, Governor Blagojevich, who was here before, Governor Patrick of Massachusetts, Governor Granholm of Massachusetts, uh, of Michigan, I'm sorry, Governor O'Malley of Maryland, Governor Patterson of New York, Governor Kulangoski of Oregon, Governor Huntsman of Utah, and Governor Gregoire of the state of Washington. In addition, from Brazil, we have Governor Valdez Goish from Amapá, 
from Canada, we have Governor Doerr of Manitoba, uh, Premier Doerr, sorry, and Premier Charest of Quebec. We also have Governor Osuna from Baja, California, from the United Mexican States, and from the Republic of India. We have Chairman Chandra Karnakaka uh, from India. So uh, these are the ones whose signatures will be on the document, even though they won't uh, have a, a, a signer here today. In addition, I will read the names of those who are with us and who are going to be signing uh, as, they, uh, as they come forward. And I hope you will uh, hold your applause to the end and then um, give them all a great round of applause while they find the, the place where, they are, uh, where their names are meant to be affixed to the document. This is, uh, this is like the United Nations here. <laughs> We have a major uh, exercise underway to get everyone to the right document. Um, all right, are we almost ready now? All right, uh, it is now my great pleasure to uh, turn the program over to my governor, the man who gets me up in the morning to uh, think about what I've done for global climate. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, he wants them all to come up? Okay. Uh, we also uh, want to make sure that we've invited representatives of, the, of our distinguished panels uh, who have been here and would like to witness the signing from the platform as well. We'd like to invite you all uh, to be here if you would like to come forward for this event. And I'll now read the names of those who are about to sign. Uh, beginning, of course, with Governor Schwarzenegger of California, Governor Sebelius of Kansas, Governor Doyle of Wisconsin. Go ahead and just sign <laughs> as I read your names, please, ladies and gentlemen. Governor Braga of Amazonas, Governor Maggi of Mato Grosso, Governor De Vasconcelos of Para. From Canada, Governor, uh, Minister of the Environment uh, of British Columbia, the Minister of the Environment of Ontario, Governor Gerritsen. Uh, from Indonesia, we have uh, Governor Irwandi from Aceh, Governor Bowo of Jakarta. From the United Mexican States, we have Secretary for the Environment uh, of Sonora. Uh, and we also have as observers and signers as witnesses here, Director Gao from the Chinese uh, National Development Reform Commission, uh, Dr. Adrian Fernandez from Mexico's National Institute of Ecology, and from the United Nations, Andrea De Angelis and Douglas Gardner. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, you want to hold up these <laughs> documents that you have signed here and uh, get a round of applause, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a historic event. Nothing of this kind, as far as I know, has ever taken place before on this or any other stage, and we are deeply honored to have you all here. I'll let you take pictures, those who, uh, who are here to take pictures. We know that the work has just begun, and you've heard here today how much people intend to do. But having these documents here represents something of great importance, I think, both to those of us present and to those back home. When we tell our children and grandchildren what we did today, we will be able to tell them something that we did to make the climate a better, a better climate for everyone, for the future. I want to one more time thank Scott Pelley, who isn't a representative of any government, but is a representative of the great world of the media, who did a fantastic job of moderating this program.
now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor and pleasure to declare this program formally at an end. Go safely to your homes, whether by plane, train, automobile, foot, or bicycle. Thank you very much for coming. Ladies and gentlemen.